Okay, let's talk about a weird thing that JavaScript does. This is a JavaScript quirk. It is called hoisting, not hosing, hoisting, nailed it. In JavaScript, whenever you see the word var, which we have seen all over the place, basically what this is saying is, whatever your variable is, move it to the top of its scope, but don't give it a value yet. So for instance, function get person, and we create a, a local variable in here. We know about local variables from the scope lesson. Var name is equal to Caleb. And then we could do something super simple, like a console log name. And then if we run get person inside of our page here, get person with parentheses, because it's a function, it's going to say Caleb. But you notice this undefined thing? That's because of variable hoisting. Let's do an example here. We know that code runs from top to bottom and we do console.log variable name. This should give us an error because this is not defined yet. The variable name is not defined above this, so it should not work. And then we define it and then we console log the name. Let's give this a shot. Let's see what happens here. Get person. We see undefined, Caleb undefined. And so at this point in time, we know that undefined was up top and we could actually do this. Let's, let's make this easier. Var not set yet. That rhymed and that was unintentional. Var is set. And let's refresh and rerun that function. And here we're gonna see var is not set yet. And this is the value, undefined. In JavaScript, undefined is basically a data type. It's just like a number. It's just like a string or a function, Boolean or an array. This is another data type. It's undefined. And really what that means is, and you're going to see this quite a bit out in the wild too, is just declaring variables. Var name, it's the exact same as doing this. So we said, hey, there's a variable, but it has no value. So no value, although this is a string that says no value, so it has a value. Null is also a value. That means there's actually nothing in it. You've explicitly told it that there's nothing in it. In JavaScript, Undefined means that the variable was defined, but there is no value in it. Currently, the JavaScript interpreter has no idea what this is supposed to be. And so this is going to be undefined. Let's go ahead and save that. And we're going to see that if we rerun this function, we should make this an IIFE. It says variable is not set, it's still undefined, and then it is set. And then we've got our regular undefined in there, which we can ignore that last one. So let's go ahead and create and immediately invoked function because I don't want to keep writing that. And let's go ahead. There we go. That looks much better. And so hoisting is this idea that as soon as your browser interprets JavaScript, as soon as it's reading the code, it's saying, hey, in this function, are there any variables? And it says, um, let me look through it first before I do anything. And then it says, oh yeah, there's one variable in here. Okay. Uh, I don't really care what the value is. I just want to make sure that this is defined. So it basically does this, moves it up to the top. And at this point in time, we're really just saying name is equal to Caleb. We don't have to declare var because it's already going to be up there. That's essentially what it's doing. Now we're not doing it that way, not necessarily, not exactly that way, but that's okay. That's okay because we know as soon as we create any sort of variable, that is going to be hoisted to the top of its scope, which is in here between these curly brackets. And then based on the scope lesson, the previous lesson, we know that we cannot access variable name outside of this function. So let's go ahead and do console.log and let's say name is name. We know that this is a local variable. It is being automatically hoisted to the top as if it was automatically set without a value. And then down here, we basically just said, oh, actually, yeah, there is a value. So there's a little piece of memory allocated in your computer for this variable name. Hopefully you use it. And we said, yep, yeah, okay, here it is. We're gonna use it. And because it's a local variable, it's not accessible in the global scope. So when we refresh our page, this is embarrassing because it still says, my name is Caleb. Uh, actually, the reason for that is because I have history in here, a variable named Caleb. If I just did that, it's Caleb. If I changed this one, let's change all of these. Change that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, and let's change it to my name, where I don't already have that stored in my browser. So refresh, and there we go. That's better. 
And so it's saying, my name is not defined. And because this is, again, due to scoping, this variable is sort of bound. It is locked to this particular area. We can't use it outside of here. Even though hoisting says, hey, variable name is, we're going to move it to the very top of the scope. It is locked to this scope. So it can't get out. Now let's take a quick look at the undefined data type. So let's do, a, so let's create a variable here and let's just call it computer. Okay. It returned its value. Its value is undefined. So let's do type of computer and we see that it is undefined. What if we throw this into an if statement? If computer is equal to undefined, alert is undefined, undefined, not undefined. Look at that, it's undefined. We can even do a strict comparison here too as well. We can do if computer one, two, three, so three equal signs is equal to undefined, alert, strictly undefined. And look at that. It says it is strictly undefined. And that's because computer doesn't have any sort of value in it yet. Now we can say computer is equal to, I don't know, Mac OS, I guess. And let's rerun these. Nothing happens. What if I do the not strict comparison with just two equal signs? Nothing happens. And so how that would look in our code is if we wanted to, we could do if my name is equal to undefined, then let's define it in here. My name is equal to Caleb. And let's go ahead, get rid of this. Now, if we save this and we try to refresh our page, we are going to be presented with an error. Just like this, it says uncaught reference error. My name is not defined. We haven't defined it yet. It thinks it's supposed to be there, but we haven't used the var keyword. What if we did this? Let's throw it down here. Let's do var my name. Just throw it at the very bottom. This is hoisting at its best. We refresh the page and there we go. It actually works. So what this said was, hey, move this variable up to the very top as if it lived up here. My name is up here. It's currently undefined. There's no value. We don't know what it is. So it says, hey, if my name is undefined, if there is no value, just reassign it. Make sure that it does have a value of Caleb and then we can use it in here. Now to make this a little more complicated, and just to get some more time with the this keyword, we could always do, let's change this. Let's change this from an IIFE to a regular function. We could always check to see if a parameter is set or not, if there is no default. So we could say, you know, the name by default is equal to Caleb. Well, that's great, but what if there is none? Often you're just going to see something like this. And what if there is one that's not passed? What if we did console, console.log name? So what happens when we save this and we try to print this out? Let's do console log a thing, whatever that name is going to be, refresh, and we have to execute this, get person, parentheses. It says a thing undefined. Okay. Well, we haven't given it a name, but now we can check to see if it is actually there. So we can... Well, we haven't given it a name, but now we can check to see if that name is undefined and define a default. We can do this the manual way. So instead of giving it a default value, such as this, if you're using JavaScript on an older browser like Internet Explorer, it might not support something like this. So you're going to want to write backwards compatible code that says if name is equal to strict, strictly equal to undefined, we can define it in here. Name is equal to Caleb. Let's go ahead and refresh get poison bam a thing caleb that's the console log here it says a thing caleb we didn't give it a name so now the default name is caleb we manually wrote that and we could always just give it a name too so we could say zephyr my kitty cat and it's going to say oh it is actually defined so you know just skip this whole if statement and so this is where hoisting scope and undefined all come together and as a quick summary, undefined basically just means that there's no data type associated with a particular variable yet. Whenever you define a variable, it doesn't matter where you define it. Var name is equal to whatever, whatever that name is going to be. JavaScript reads this and says, oh, let's move that up to the top. It's currently undefined until you define it later. That's called hoisting. 
and scope is the fact that this name is not allowed to leave these brackets. That is scoping. So hopefully that all made sense. There's a lot to unpack in this particular video, but we needed to learn a bunch of other stuff in order for this to sort of start making sense. There's no homework for this. I really just want you to be able to digest this. If you want to, feel free to tinker around with some of your own code and sort of get the hang of this. But this and the last couple of lessons were JavaScript fundamentals. These are not super fun things to learn necessarily, but they are very important. You're going to run into problems down the future where these, these subjects like scope and hoisting are going to help you out quite a bit. You'll understand why you might be getting a particular error. Next, let's move on to something a lot more fun. Let's learn about the second way to bind events to our page.